Welcome to the Parent Tech Guide. These videos will help you be more tech savvy. Welcome to Internet Safety. There are 10 lessons on Internet Safety to help parents and teachers. Teachers can earn CEU credits for this course. Email me for your assignment and direct. Welcome back to Lesson 1. The first topic we're going to talk about is the Children's Internet Protection Act. The Internet Protection Act is a federal law that was enacted in Congress in 2000 to require schools to provide training about the dangers of internet safety use. This is for all students in all schools and according to the Children's Internet Protection Act, schools that accept E-rate funds must comply with the Children's Internet Protection Act. There is a link to the Children's Internet Protection Act website in your file attachment for this lesson. Parents should ask about this training and teachers should share the curriculum with parents and the community about this training. An internet safety policy must include technology protection measures that block or filter internet access that are obscene, that include children pornography, that are harmful to minors or computers that are accessed by minors. Schools are subject to the Child Internet Protection Act. They are required to adopt and enforce a policy to monitor online activities of minors. We're going to click on these laptops to see what that includes. Access by minors to inappropriate matter on the internet. The safety and security of minors when using electronic mail chat rooms, and other forms of direct electronic communications. Unauthorized access, including hacking and other unlawful activities by minors. Unauthorized disclosure, use, and dissemination of personal information regarding minors, and restricting minors' access. This is an important topic, and parents are sending students to school with personal networks, with cell phones, laptops, and tablets. So parents are also responsible for protecting their children against these issues. Have a discussion about internet safety with your children today. The next part of our lesson, we will talk about acceptable use policy. The Children's Internet Protection Act law requires schools to have a, an acceptable use policy. This is a written document that contains the policies and rules for everyone who uses computers and the network must agree to follow them. These policies and rules should include all legal requirements and best practices for security and appropriate use. An acceptable use policy should include password management policies. How long should the passwords be? How often should they be changed? Rules for software licenses and installations. What software is allowed to be downloaded and what software is allowed to be used? Intellectual property and copyright. Again, what can be downloaded? What is copyrighted and what is open, free, common? Etiquette and rules for email use. How do we communicate with others? Rules for playing computer games, listening to internet radio, and watching streaming media. What types of media, what types of games, and who are we allowed to play with on the internet? All those are very important topics. Use of personal electronic devices such as computers, tablets, cell phones, games, music players, and digital cameras. All of these should be outlined and discussed. And lastly, inappropriate uses of technology such as bullying, sexting, harassment, threats, hacking, scamming, phishing, and pornography. Do you need an acceptable use policy for home? Have a family meeting and make a list of the computer activities that are allowed and that are prohibited. Explain both the positive and negative reasons for these rules. When children know the rules and reasons for computer use, they will be more apt to accept and follow the rules. You should also develop consequences 
for not following the rules and make sure that students understand these up front. This has been a very useful tool in education for a long time. Good luck with your acceptable use policy and this ends lesson one. All parents need to be tech savvy. Stay tuned for more videos.